gonna turn this on just in case because I want to check over here. I'm not sure if it's gonna spawn more guys. Okay, so walking this way definitely spawns more of you. I can hear it. What about walking this way? Nothing. This leads back to the woods. Alright. I wish there was like a little more, uh... A little more, uh, you know, ammo laying around, but... Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Just be happy that I walked away with more than what I had. Hello, Barry. Hello. The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? It's the sheriff. Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Oh, it is Alice. Okay. In the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Some invisible fucking monster trying to beat me with a, a railway pipe? Bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. First of all, I'm going to hope I can find this fucking... This goddamn, uh... This chest around here. Looks like a fucking trap if you ask me. You just gave me an entire fucking arsenal. Thank you, mysterious benefactor. Benefactor? No. Uh, supporter? Yes. Can you aim the fucking flashlight? I saw you, bitch. And this is what we call a net positive. I now feel more confidence than ever. Arm to the fucking teeth. Look at this fucking video game ass level. Oh! <laughs> the darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. 
and it was taking over everything in its path. Oh shit. Run, Alan. Ow. Burning the light, bitches. All right. I'm safe. Wait, was that a was that a page? Still trying to throw shit at me. All right, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Oh my god. Ah. Wait. The fuck just happened? slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Wait. Who smug face? The... Like, the doctor that tr that helps, like, the artist? That's the only guy I can think of. Just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Hold down and switch the heavy-duty flashlight. You're fucking damn right. Heavy duty, baby. Still not one of those mega flashlights, but you know what? I'll take it. Right? I'm about to fight for my life down here. Uh, I'll start with the flares. Giving me a lot of shit, game. You gave me a lot of shit. That means we have to deal with some bullshit. Yeah, like that. Ah, fucking. Burn, bitches. when I if I can shoot this shit over here oh yeah exactly what I thought ah bitch Assuming more is gonna show up. Yep, because I can hear it. Hear the screams of the damned. I'm gonna check over here and just make sure I'm not forgetting to pick up anything. What the hell? In light, you can hear them. Wait, what? Oh, in light, you can hurt them. Well, yeah, I know that. I do need these flares. That 
ammo. You got something to say to me, fancy TV? Oh, another episode of my favorite show! The Midnight Zone, or some shit. The Nighttime Zone. The, the Betty Buy Zone. I also love how, like, the stars kind of form, like, a human figure. Night Springs, there we go. Tonight's episode, a family occasion. Journalist a journalist, he's a writer too, that's just like me. Customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Derleth, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durland. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <clears throat> In front of, like, an old dude? If you're gonna do that, can we do it with like another guy? That one was lame compared to the other ones, in my opinion. Also, it's pretty weird. Dude's like, like you walk in a room with a girl and like a fucking, like some other dude, right? You know, maybe he rocks that way. But he he didn't go in there expecting something, right? And the girl goes like, what if we do something right now? And the other guy's just sitting there watching. Wouldn't the first reaction be like, how about no? <laughs> you know what I mean? The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. About two thirds of this can be written as like a, can be read as a fucking erotica. The darkness embraced me. It was sucking me like a fucking tornado. <laughs> like, okay, Alan. All right. All right. Shit. Let's get the shotgun. Out. What the fuck? Oh hell no! Oh my god. Are you? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, it's gonna... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Everyone stay back. Stay back. Where'd he go? Keep an eye out on that fucking... Oh, that goddamn tractor. Tractor? Yeah. Oh shit! Can I get the guy driving it? Ooh! Trying to back up in me, bitch. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I didn't think it would get me.
Oh shit. Good. That was something. Can I jump up here? Nope. Mm. Now I'm full on revolver ammo. Alright. Shotgun ammo in here. Three flares. I'll take that. What's that? Revolver? Hey, it's a car! Can I drive it? Is it for me? glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Yeah, it was a fucking, it was a fucking night, huh? The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Am I going by foot, or am I taking the car? Why the fuck would I get out the car? Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Why is there like a section over here that's like... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of power slid a little too hard. Come on, four-wheel drive, bitch. Get up there. Alright, what's in here? Gotta be something in there. for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. 
Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. But first, a little music. Do, 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 do. I'm taking this card now. More compact. Those are just trees. I thought they were like chairs or something. Like camping gear. Get up the fucking mountain. Oh, now I'm gonna take that car. If I'm gonna meet my kidnapper, I gotta meet them in style, right? Oh yeah, I'm taking that car. How am I- am I hot wiring all these cars? Are we just not gonna question that? This is where I was earlier. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that... How's that a little harsh? What? <laughs> That there's not only one person for one for someone out there? How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, okay. Well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel. What I what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. I got shot at. <laughs> just say it. It's not illegal to say it. You'd be like, I got fucking shot at. It scared the shit out of me. My life flashed before my eyes. I'm 62. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. Alright, alright, you're not gonna expect me to just drive past that and not take a look at it. Come on, that, that's that's a building act asking to be inspected. What kind of bullshit is this? Oh my god, it's a lumber mill. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Someone was spying on me at the boat? Someone's been spying me at the boat and wanted to fuck my wife? What? 
You're a fucking creep, dude. It's like I was told I was told to spy on this dude, but <laughs> his wife, man. <laughs> you know, like you're fucking weird, dude. Like, I mean, like, you like what you see, I get it, but you ain't gotta be fucking weird about it. Like, oh, I want him to fight me. Yeah. Take him in front of his wife. In front of his wife. Ditch the zero and get with the hero. Look at that power slide. Hell yeah. <laughs> Destroying the cars. I was early. Oh, like, I was yeah. supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Oh, this is a coal mine. I thought it was. I thought it was a like lumber mill or something. What the fucking fuck? All right. Well, lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich, but hard to get at. And volcanic activity in the area made the mine shaft particularly dangerous. Particularly, particularly. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Uh. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Hey, but he got you alone in the dark, right? What's up, Wait, bitch? Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? Ah, uh, it's not in the book. You're I not going to kill her. I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I'm gonna kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. I can't get to Mirror Peak if the fucking door's locked. What the fuck? It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Can I get the fuck out, please? What the fucking fuck? You... What am I supposed to do? I supposed to jump down? Ow! How the fuck was the door locked if I just came in through that way? Some coffee, don't know what it does, but it does something.
When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Okay. I was hoping you would jump down, dickhead. What the fuck? Ow! How the fuck do I get out of here? Motherfuckers got me dead to rights. Fucking scratch my nose, Jesus. Ow, what the fuck? Damn it. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, what the fuck is that? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Hmm. Well, I gotta turn off the fucking power then. Aw, oh, shit. You kidding me? Too many of you fuckers. I'm pressing the dodge button for fuck's sake. It's a running way. Come on. Don't got enough. Don't got a lot of time until they start respawning. If they do respawn. I'm going to have to turn it off so it's going to be a big pain in the ass to get back. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Where are those flare guns come from? Whatever. I'm not complaining. Time to use it. Get the 
pole, bitch. Oh, fuck. Can you, like, use your legs and run? Oh, fucking hell. You guys are too far away from each other. I'm just gonna make my way on through. Like I'm fucking Moses parting the sea. Oh my god, because I touched it. Bitches can't touch me. Do you hose later? Stay mad. Had to scratch my back real quick. That shit itched like a motherfucker. Holy fuck. You don't scare me, get shined. Oh, fuck. I didn't know there was another guy next to me, okay? trying to shoot you. I'm trying to shoot the thing behind you, for fuck's sake. Question, right? If I needed to get through the building to come here, why the fuck did I go down there? What's the point? I feel like I'm in the exact same building that I was before. Maybe it's not the exact same, but and it's close, right? This is where I came from, right? What the fuck? Ugh, whatever, dude. Oh shit. Are you trying to throw that tree at me? Oh, I thought I was picking up the tree. Good thing the fence was here. I would have fucking died. This here for me. Grenades were standard power company equipment. I'm just walking around them, but you know, better safe than sorry, right? Son of a bitch. Turn to, sir. Oh, there's a lot of you motherfuckers, huh? Oh, come on, you threw it through the fucking tree, you serious? Now, if y'all get the fuck out of my way. One 
dumbass asshole. Alright. Into the woods I go! Where it's definitely safe. Nothing will hurt me. Excuse me, give me a second, I gotta read this. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? I'm throwing shit at me, guys. I'm not good at catch. My dad never played with me. Stay back, bitches. Aha! The light is my friend. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Which the pump action? Ooh, way better. Cover my back, buddy. off dude as long as I run in the direction of the light I should be pretty good pretty solid come on turn it on damn it alright you're not lit up yet but you are We're just gonna pretend that you can just eat light now? I would say that's that was a good exchange maybe not towards the end when I had to use the extra flare but like what the hell the dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going a cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach was makeshift cemetery Alice? is it for pets is it the pet cemetery since we love Stephen King so fucking much Stop bobbing me. Oh, fuck. He's superhuman. Out of my way, bitch. I ain't got time for you. Aha! Shine bright, bitch. fucking right way if not i'm a chef chef too